day and welcome to this Marks Reviews and Tutorials video. <clears throat> this is a special edition, this one, because we're going to be uh, replacing a door handle. Uh, this one's all loose, but there's a very special reason for that, and that is because uh, we've had someone trying to get into my garage. Have a look at that. There is supposed to be a doorknob like that on both sides, and that one has been fed income smashed off. Have a look here at all the marks on the door. There's marks down here. Um, if you come to out here, you can actually see the rock um, that they've used out of our garden. And uh, you can see here, there's pounding on the door frame and on the edge here. But the amazing thing is uh, that there. Have a look at how pounded down that is. Um, and you can see it's um, knocked it down. The good news is that all of that work didn't get them inside. The lock held um, and they weren't able to get inside. And this is just a standard builder's lock, you know, just the cheapy that you get at your hardware store. Um, but it did the job, it um, did the job. So we are going to replace that because you know what? We're not gonna repair that one. So I'll show you how to very quick and easily um, do a new doorknob. Okay, so buying a door lock, check it out. There's like four or five bays of door locks. Um, this is what we are actually replacing. Um, this is an entrance set, it's got a key, um, a little snib on the back. That's just a builder's quality, iconic. You see it's $11, 11 Australian dollars. Um, so really, really cheap. You can get them in a two pack for 20 bucks, which will have the keys um, keyed the same. So that would be a like for like replacement. We'll be just putting a standard builder's lock on, but I'm actually gonna up the quality, put a brand name lock, um, because I want it to be a, a, a better quality lock into the garage. And I also wanna put a, a lever style. So there's more expensive locks there, 24 for a lane. Um, that's actually a really good, well that's bedroom and bathroom doors. The coating here, a privacy set, is something like a bathroom. It doesn't have a key, but you can lock it when you're inside, like a toilet door or a bathroom door. That's privacy. Um, entrance is the one that will always have a key coming into a house. So entrance has got a key. Privacy has um, not got a key, but it's got a snib to lock it. And then passage has got nothing. That's um, just a knob that turns and opens the door, like in a passage or a bedroom uh, or something like that. So that's the, that's the different words. Privacy, passage, and entrance. So that's lane, and that's actually a decent um, quality. Um, those ones there. But um, I really wanted to buy these games. There's all sorts of fancy knobs. You can get as fancy as you like. It's, it's full on the choices. Um, this is back to that builder's brand. Again, you've got the three different styles in a lever style. This is what I do want, so it's just a bit easier to turn. This door gets a fair bit of wind pressure on it at times. Um, and there, 28, 26, um, 30 for the entrance. Um, but as I said, I want to get a better um, quality. So you get 30 bucks, we could get a a lever type one uh, uh, coming up lanes another good brand with the lever types you got fancy looking ones fifty dollars but again they're, they're made in china this is the one i'm actually going to go with lockwood now um this here is uh made in australia this is actually the one i'm going to buy right here that's an entrance um set entrance lever set you can see there uh, these ones here are just passage and privacy sets. Entrance set, turning around, Asabaloi, Australia, Taiwan. There you go, it's not made in China, but made in Taiwan. But anyway, Lockwood, I'm going with that brand. Um, so that's the one you'll see me installing. Um, not that packet, so I'm not gonna show you the key code that's on down here. When you're in the shop, you can see under there, it's got a, a little key code, a number, um, and there's the one behind it, it's got a number as well. When you're buying multiple sets, if you buy them with the same number, then they'll be keyed alike and you can match them up. That's how that works. Um, but in actual fact, there were three here and they all had different numbers, so I wasn't able to get two keyed alike. There's an entrance set uh, with a key both sides. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into all of that. That's obviously inside with the ability to lock it and unlock it with your finger. Um, or to deadlock it, no doubt, with a key. So, that's $64, so I'm paying a lot more, but this is an entrance, you know, into my garage, um, where I've got some 
stuff stored that I don't want broken into, so I'm going to put a decent quality lock on it. The door's good and solid, it totally survived the attack it had. Um, so there you go, lots of different brands, lots of different styles and types. Um, again, Gainsborough is known for door handles, but not so much known for locks. Um, Delph, I know that company for bathroom fittings, but um, anyway, there you go. Huge choice, huge amount of price. A lot of it's going to come back to style, what you want to choose. Um, but for us today, we're going to go with a lock company. Um, so there's a bit of a plug for Lockwood. And uh, if these are available, I'll stick up the Amazon links for America and England um, so you can find them and get them sent to you direct. But uh, here, $64. We're in um, 2019. So uh, see how much they've increased in price since then. Okay, so it's time to switch this out. Uh, now, with a lock, on the outside, where you're trying to keep people out, like this has effectively done its job, there won't be any screws or anything like that because it all needs to be done from the inside because it doesn't have to be high security from the inside. And the same goes here. Uh, you see there's a screw here and a screw here. Now, you can probably just squash past that with a screwdriver and get it on the angle because this is really loose. But if it's tight, there's actually a little pin. See that little hole there? You can press that in and then this knob will come off and then you can get easy access at those screws. So to start with, we're gonna pull that out. Now the new lock um, comes with a new centerpiece and the whole lot. Again, this is just a cheapy builder's lock and we're gonna be putting in a good quality Lockwood lock like this. So we're going to replace uh, this as well. But if you've just gone and bought yourself a new cheapy and this is all okay, you probably can just buy the new handles and put on the new components. But put in the good quality stuff. Okay, so here we go. We're just gonna undo these screws. And as I said, there's low tech and low security on the inside of these. It's on the outside is where the security is. And what I did notice is that before I pull this off, with a big screwdriver, this is with the cheap builder's lock. If I stick that in there, if they'd had a big screwdriver to finish this job off, See that and with either Phillips head or a straight screwdriver let's try this one yeah look at that with a little Phillips head screwdriver that would have given them access so thank goodness they didn't have a screwdriver out there otherwise knocking the knob off would have um, given them access to the door okay so taking out the screw on the other side okay so there it goes that's off and probably gonna drop away on the other side as well. If you've got a screwdriver, you can insert it into that little square there and that'll get you still open to open the door. And then that's the outside smash bit has dropped off. And here, the remnants of the handle. Everything's coming out. Um, now here, the little lock part. Again, if you'd just gone and replaced with one of those $10, $11 builder's locks, you could just stick it back in there at this point um, and replace it. I will be repairing this door, but right now we're securing this door. Um, if you come around to the end here, see there's a couple of screws in the end. So very simply pull out this striker. Now this won't come out while uh, this striker won't come out while the handle's in there, but now the handle's removed. That just comes straight out, easy as, with a little bit of encouragement. There you go, she's out. And then the striker plate over here, again, normally that won't have to be replaced, but we are gonna take that out as well. Because I've bought a better quality lock, I wanna put the better quality bits all over. But this is, very standard that you find the chisel marks are the same uh, the screw marks are the same okay look at that yep the new striker plates and as I said this totally doesn't have to be replaced but and I'm replacing the screws the whole lot because it is uh, a better quality lock so this is really quick and straightforward it goes in Beautiful, nice and tight. Okay, so now we're putting in the uh, internals of the door. This it has to be done in this order, this part first and then the handle second. 
and the handle actually holds it in place. Now the direction, the direction the door is going to come and strike has to go that way. That can be put in upside down. Uh, obviously that won't work up on the striker plate. So we need to have it that way so that when it strikes, it presses that in. Okay, you want to run those two screws in. You stop before you go all the way. I want you to wind that out a bit. See how it's sitting out here? It's sitting out. What you should do is, that's it, that's it, that's it. Run it and then run the bottom one in and then not quite to touch the same as that. So it comes up square and flat and even and nice. That's it, that's now sitting down square so you can do them. Now, we've got the little click up there, we'll put that on about eight. That's the adjustment for how hard it turns. So do that up. That's it, and then the one below it, that's enough. Once it's clicked, that's enough. Done, beautiful. Now that is really tight in place, awesome. Okay, so here we go, time for the handle to go in. Now obviously the things here, you gotta have the lock, the key part on the outside of the door and the handle so it's not in the way here, but they're all reversible and changeable so you can set that up. And this one has a little pin to hold it up nice and straight. So that inside and then the other side slips straight over the top. And if you find it won't go fully home, you may have to turn that little pin to line it up. That's now in place. Now we put the screws in and do them up and that is totally the job. Okay, so simple as now you do those up. Now I'm not doing this up with a drill because I don't want it to scratch on here and rub. Uh, and also I want to pull it up square. You can get to one side of the screw here and obviously just by turning the handle, you can get to the other side right there. So we'll do those two okay, screws. So here's an important little um, tip for you. You see we've tightened up the two screws and you see the handle isn't returning great. It's only coming there. Um, it's actually dragging a bit. That shows you've done these up a little bit too tight. Um, when, oh, it's actually gonna, it's gonna come good. But if you find that, like it's only coming back a little bit, then it means you've squished it a little bit too much. So you can just back those off a little bit and then it'll return full back up to where you want it to be. But there we go, that's now done. So what we need to do now is check the key. I've got it locked. And I would recommend doing this before you actually lock it. You wanna unlock the door. So you just run through all your tests. Is that in far enough? There we go. And then it's nice and easy. Can you open the door? There you go. Unlock. Is that locked? Don't worry about getting the key out, just lock it. Okay. And then there'll be a, a one position where the key will come out. There you go, that's locked. Okay, brilliant. That is job complete. Um, I will put some links in the description for all the tools we've used, including the drills, screwdrivers, things like that, and also some quality locks. And I'll also put some links to some just standard locks. And I'll also put a, as a matter of fact, it probably would have been up one hour screensaver for when we do that repair. In the real brief form, um, that's damaged quite a lot. There's some, some quite deep scratches there. So what we're gonna have to do is give it all sand to start off with, get it as smooth as we can. And then I'm actually gonna spray it with some spray putty, which is, it's an automotive product, but you can put some skim coat on it if you want. But I've got some spray putty, so I'm just gonna spray that on, let it dry, and then give it a sand again to get it all flat. And then we're gonna take the opportunity to repaint the entire door um, and the door frame and the whole lot. So we'll show you that in another video. Okay, lock done, well done.